In this video, I'm going to share with you three power moves you can steal from Juan Soto right now to not only add power to your game, but also make you a more consistent hitter. And if you stick around to the end, you'll know exactly how to use these three keys to take your swing and your performance to the next level. With that said, let's jump right in. So we're going to start with three and work our way down to one. So the first point that I want to talk about, and it's super important, very, very important, and that is confidence and he has confidence oozing out of his body you know when a pitcher throws a pitch and he does that solo shuffle i love it right now i'm not going to recommend that you do the solo shuffle because you have to be able to back it up right but i will say that you should play like you have an edge you should play like you believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself no one else will and when i look at juan soto he truly believes in himself and that goes for all the players at the mlb if you don't think you're the best player you're not going to get to that level so the first thing i always say to my hitters is that we have to be confident in ourselves. Now, if you're a player and you're asking yourself, how can I apply this to my game? What I recommend is that when you're in the batter's box, taking a step out, right? In between each pitch, take a deep breath, visualize your success, right? And then go into the batter's box. A lot of times when we're hitting, our heart is beating so fast. It's beating so rapidly and that speeds the game up so what we want to do is we want to step out take a deep breath visualize our success and then step right back in that slows the game down and allows us to be confident cool uh, allows us to be confident and cool just like juan soto so that's the first point now the next key that i want to talk about that juan soto does very well is he uses his lower half and this is very very important i'll tell you why when i used to talk to barry bonds barry bonds always said that the goal of a hitter is to have a strong base and the goal of a pitcher is to mess your base up in other words if your swing is not um if your lower half is not in a good place then your swing won't even play and i see that with a lot of young players it's almost like when they start swinging their lower half is like they're riding on a a surfboard it's like really unstable and rocky and then they're always taking swings in the cage but they never focus on their lower half so the lower half is super important to becoming consistent and definitely driving the baseball and Juan Soto does it super well. So how does he do this? Well, let's look at his mechanics. Now, I follow the coils framework when it comes to the lower half. Let's put that over here. And I'll take you through each of these steps. Now, the first thing is we we'll want to load and coil. And we want to sit into this back hip. And you can see how when he starts to go back, he starts sitting into this back hip right here. Okay. And he's staying over this back leg. And you can see how this... Uh, front leg starts to turn inward towards this back leg okay so that's the first part of the framework and that's the c the next thing is he takes an orchestrated step now what is that an orchestrated step is a controlled movement right when i tell young players to stride what they do is they jump out of their lower half they pop up or they jump forward towards the pitcher but an orchestrated step is a controlled movement he does this very well right every swing he takes is the same he doesn't look fooled ever he takes the same movement every single time now the next thing here is he goes to the eye right here and the eye is initiate landing position now what is that basically what that is is that we want to keep 60 percent of our weight on our back side and we want to keep our chest over this back leg and we want to have 40 percent of our weight on our front leg okay and that right there is going to distribute the weight properly right a lot of times you see a lot of players what they do is especially youth players what they do is they start to jump off their lower half okay and they start putting ton of weight on that front foot ton of weight on that front foot and this messes you know their swing up because their lower half isn't in a good place so the first place we always start is the lower half 
Now, what's the L? The L is launching the hips. Now you'll see here as he starts to swing, he starts to basically get his hips, his back leg, his hips into the baseball and he stays right over that plate and he basically pinches the ground with his big, hole, big toe. This is where people uh, mess up when they launch their hips or when they start driving their hips into the baseball, what they do is they rotate real quickly. And you'll see here that he pinches the ground. You see that he's pinching the ground with his big toe. And this is creating the knee drive that allows him to stay inside the baseball. A lot of players just squish the bug and they never pinch the ground with their big toe. And so they don't get the knee drive that they need to really drive the baseball. So you see he does this very well. He pinches the ground with his big toe, and then you see that knee starts getting parallel to the ground and allows him to take all that energy that he stored up from his lower half and start shifting it to his front foot. And now the S is he stabilizes his front side. And you can see here as he starts to, you know, turn everything into the baseball, you can see how he stabilizes his hips. And how does he do that? Well, he anchors his heel into the ground. And you'll see it right here as he starts to swing. That heel is now getting planted into the ground. You can see that right there. And then he keeps planting it. And you should be able to walk out of it if you plant that heel into the ground. So that right there is the coils framework. And this is what I teach my hitters. And if you use this, you're going to be more consistent. You're going to hit more line drives. You're going to use your, your lower half correctly. And you're going to drive baseballs. Okay. So that right there is why he does so well. But that also sets him up to point number one. Now, what is point number one? Okay. Point number one is plate discipline. See, his lower half puts him in such a good place that he's able to see the ball super well, right? He's not jumping out and lunging and moving his head so much. If we look at this actual swing and let me delete this. If we look at his actual swing, you'll see that his head stays in roughly the same spot the entire time. So let's put a box, okay, right around his head, right? And so you'll see when he starts to swing, okay, he stays in that box that entire time. And that allows him to see that pitch as clear as day. He's able to read the scenes. He's able to see the spin. If you watch his games and his at-bats, you'll see that he spits on pitches that are super tough. And it's because his lower half puts him in such a good position that he's able to see the ball so well that he's able to see the spin on those balls and see you know, if the ball is in the zone and out of the zone. And so these right here are the three power moves. If you do these things, you will drive the baseball. You will be able to hit more doubles. You will be able to hit more consistently. You will hit, make more consistent hard contact, and you'll be able to drive the baseball like you know you can. And this is exactly what I teach my players in the 100X Power Program. If you guys don't know what that is, a program that helps you increase your exit velocity and allow you to start driving baseballs. And to give you an example of this, here's a player who went through the system and hit his first home run ever. Tell me before, what type of hitter were you? And then um, when we started working together, what changes we made? So before, in my sophomore and freshman seasons, I was just like a grounder up the middle, grounder through the four hole, just totally pull side, couldn't take anything off of. And now like after hitting with Jermaine, I've just expanded to like a complete hitter to where I can hit on all sides of the field and I have power to all sides of the field. I've been hitting doubles, triples to left center gap as a lefty. And now in my last few tournaments, I've been able to pull the ball over the fence to right field. So talk about your home run, your first homer your first ever home run. Congratulations, by the way. So, the first ever home run came in a PBR tournament up in Kentucky. And uh, what happened was we were, it was a tie game 3 3 in the bottom of the sixth inning. And uh, I just let a fastball travel into the zone, 
got my hands to it, kept my hands inside, and I was able to hit it off the scoreboard to right field. And so, I mean, it was just a super cool experience. Generated a lot of power in my legs, and it was just, it was like, like the work had paid off at that moment. So, tell me, how'd you feel when you seen the ball go out of the park or hit the stadium? Tell me how you felt when you were running the bases. Give me that rundown. Like, what'd your dad say to you after? Your mom? I know your dad loves watching you play, so give me that. Tell me about that. It was like, it, it was pretty crazy. I mean, because I hit the ball. I knew it was gone, but, like, the crowd didn't. So I was jogging, and right when I hit first base, I just hear everyone kind of erupt because, like, you could hear it hit off the scoreboard. Uh, all the parents, all the kids which went crazy on my team. So... I just like I just kind of got to soak it all in. Got to see my third base coach, who I've known forever, and it was, it was, it was exhilarating. Like it was hard to can, it was hard not to like sprint around the bases. I was so, my adrenaline was pumping. I was so excited, and I just, I honestly just wanted another at bat after that. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you uh, for you know working with me. I'm glad I was able to you know be a part of your journey. Um, would what would you tell people if they're interested? and working with me online or working with me in person, would you recommend me? Yes. Now, if you're a young hitter and you wanna be more consistent or you wanna hit for power, I'm offering a free swing breakdown. All you have to do is go below, get that free swing breakdown, book it. But I will say this, if you're younger than 18, you have to have your parents fill it out and they have to be there with you. With that being said, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel and watch this video right here. It talks about Shohei Otani and what he's doing that's allowed him to have this historic season. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.